Hey guys, welcome back to ACR Falconry. We are on day two with the new bird. And actually that being said, we still haven't named her. So if you guys want to shoot your ideas down in the comments below, we can uh, name this new bird. Let's get into the start of the manning stages with her and uh, we'll see how she goes. So we will work on some of the manning inside. So basically we're just gonna sit here for the next probably like two hours or so me talking to him, just trying to get him used to sit on my glove. And yeah, we will uh, update you in a little bit. I'll see if I can't get him to eat something. Just like that, he is eating. He's been pretty chill, actually. Just other than a few attempts to fly off the glove, but overall, he seems pretty chill. See, 24 hours off the trap. You don't have to feed so aggressively, though. You're not hungry? It seemed like you had eaten enough yesterday, but maybe you didn't eat yesterday. This could make for a very quick training. Day one's going this well. So I'm using tongs for the first few feedings because I don't want them to associate food with my bare hand. So I find giving them food off the tongs and then eventually I'll just remove the tongs from the situation. I'm gonna lure train anyways. So it'll be a whole different training to get them to go to the lure and then eventually it'll be small tidbits to the gloves, but that'll obviously be in some later videos. But man, if he keeps going like this, who knows, maybe I'll be on the creance quicker than expected. I still predict probably two weeks, but we'll see. So that's pretty much gonna be it for the rest of day two i will just be sitting with him for a few more hours and then uh yeah he'll probably end up back hooded in his giant hood for the night i haven't decided yet what i'll do with him for tonight um but then as of tomorrow we're actually heading to the cottage so he will be traveling with me in his giant hood and probably spend the weekend in it even though most of the weekend i'll probably just have him sitting on my glove but anyway, um, yeah, we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, we are on day three of the training. I actually had her tethered last night, just out on her bow perch in the Muse. And we're gonna try to work with her now, but she seems good, so let's see how she feeds. So yeah, so basically I'm just gonna sit here with her for a while and uh, so yeah, after dealing with her yesterday and getting some good feels of her keel and stuff, she actually feels like she's really sharp. So I'm gonna bump her food up, especially how aggressively she was eating yesterday. So I'm gonna actually give her closer to probably about uh, 80 grams today. 
and I'll maintain that I'd like to see the weight come up and I'll just watch her response over the next uh, probably four or five feedings I'm gonna try to bring her weight up just to see what happens don't want her to be unhealthy and I do feel that it's a female it's got a very large head my actually my big um, my largest red tail hood doesn't fit very well it actually still isn't almost big enough to go on her head so I think it might just be um, an underweight female so we'll see when I work with the weights and I mean the way she's just so laid back tells me that she's actually low in weight um, so yeah we're gonna go with that but anyways I'm going to sit with her here for a while and try to grab a weight off of her again today and then uh, I'll work on feeding but I'll see if I can record some of it if not we will see you tomorrow we have, like I said I'm going to be bringing her up to the cottage so um, we'll see you at the cottage tomorrow Wondering if they can, but I've been fighting what I'm feeling, needing something to believe in. Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley. Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the storm. Oh, lift me up, lift me up from the valley. Oh, lift me up. Hey guys, welcome back. We are on, I think day six. I'll confirm right at right there. But yeah, so we just got back from the cottage and the training up there was incredible. She's progressing way faster than any uh, red tail I've ever trained. But anyways, I'll roll some clips on how that went and then I'll show you some stuff from today. I'm actually gonna try tossing a lure and stuff for her today and we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's raining and uh, it's training time. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back. Day seven. Actually, the plan for today was to kind of go over the zipline system that I use when I'm training. So once I move outside, you either go to a creance line, but if you actually have the space and you can set this up, I find this works much better as you get less tangles and stuff like that with the uh, with the creance line. I mean, it is kind of a controlled uh, flight path that they have to stay on, but most of the time it works well, especially for the initial uh, 
two or three outdoor training that you do with the bird. But anyway, so yeah, let's just go over what I use. So all I've set up is I've got about a hundred foot uh, line here that, so I set it so that it's tied off to the tree. I just double wrap it on here so that when I pull it tight, it's actually not pulling on the actual perch itself. I put a knot the distance away so that when you can see that I've got my, my leash lead that goes on that I would clip to the bird, that once the bird, if the bird tries to fly this way, it's limited to the distance and it's got enough room that it will make it to the ground. The jesses are long enough that the bird will just be sitting on the ground. Now, most of the time I would be setting the bird at this end and flying that way. So it just allows, there's enough line that when it's sitting here that it'll just hang off the jesses. And then I tie paracord, which is what I use to my connector. And then I use uh, a welded ring, which is what slides on the line and it has like very little resistance. So they don't really feel it when they're flying. And if you go with about a six to eight foot leash, I find it gives them plenty of room to fly on different angles and you can do a little bit of adjusting on, instead of flying straight, you can kind of fly on some angles. But yeah, so there's the 100 foot run. And then I just use one of my bow perches to lock it in the ground at this end to keep it tight. Like I said, you could also use the Creance line, which I've done in previous videos. I just find, especially when your yard has lots of little trees that they tend to want to fly up to, the Creance line gets tangled a lot. So this kind of helps control where they're allowed to fly and you can kind of position it. And I mean, as you've seen with her in the previous video, she's doing amazing anyway. So I practically could be free flying her already, but I'm not going to get crazy until uh, I know for sure that she's good to go. But yeah, so let's get into today's flights. I'm going to do a couple more lure trainings with her and just flights to the glove and see how her response is. I've been bringing her weight up. I'll actually show you a chart of what her weight's been looking like. Since I trapped her, I've actually been increasing her weight because I feel that she's been actually quite low for how big she should be. And yesterday I had her over her trap weight and I found that her response by the end of the training, so the last bit of her food, started to get uh, a little less responsive from her. So today what I've done is actually reduced a little bit of the food to start to maybe keep her at that level, that weight, or even start to reduce it slightly. Just, I'm gonna play with it until I see where her kind of sweet spot is. Anyways, let's get into it. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episode as we get into our first free flights and our first few hunts. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time guys.